This is called a cuvette. It's not a test tube. Um, cuvettes are are designed to go into spectrophotometer machines. Like other technical sciences, biotechnology requires its own language, and you've got to learn the language. Because I don't want fingerprints down here, because in a spec machine what happens is light is shot at the sample, and you don't want fingerprints or smudges or whatever at the base of the tube to interfere with that light. Jonathan Tuttle instructs these advanced high school students in the terminology, procedures, and the use of laboratory equipment. My first objective is to help them become proficient at using the equipment in the lab. It makes them more comfortable in lab settings. It gets them to the, to the point where, regardless of the lab, whether it's engineering or chemistry or whatever, they would just feel more comfortable navigating in a lab setting. Now we're going to learn how to use a, a different piece of equipment called a spectrophotometer. His goal is to have his students ready to walk out of his classroom and into a scientific laboratory as an intern or even an employee. If you were to walk into a medical lab, it would look very much like this lab. If you were to walk into a, a genetics lab, it would look very much like this lab. Even a, a forensics a CSI lab, it would look very much like this lab. In classrooms like this one, there are opportunities to bring the subject home. We can also use spec machines to figure out what is in a sample. If, if, if a scientist wants to know what kind of drug somebody is on, that's done by a spec machine. Biotechnology, says Mr. Tuttle, is not a narrow channel. It's a gateway. Students aren't locked into a biotech track, if you will. This experience would allow them to have several choices and several options in front of them. Well, this program is pretty cool and unique because we get to do a lot of stuff other high schools don't get to do. I figured that the GTI would be a great program to like explore. I'm actually learning a lot of things that I wouldn't, I didn't know about before, like in the criminal justice area. If I pass my test from this class, and I get certified for it, then I get to get a job somewhere in that field. I think that one thing that can happen is they can get themselves into a position earlier where uh, their employer may pay for their education.